two QCG bats. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a very spooky and special Halloween episode of Let's Ask America. I'm your host, Uncle Sam, and this is the game where opinions run amok. See, we don't terrify our contestants with a bunch of textbook trivia. Instead, we pulled people all across the country with a wide variety of questions about really fiendish subjects, if you will. And now, these four contestants all Skyping from their haunted houses will try to correctly predict what America is thinking. And should they play a perfect game, one of them could take home $50,000. Nothing scary about that. But things could get a little freaky here because at the end of each round, the person with the least amount of money will be eliminated. I just realized what I look like right now. I, I just looked at a monitor. Now, sometimes you don't know if something's a good idea until you see it on air, huh? <laughs> and the hat is cutting off circulation in my brain. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm graying out, guys. Hang on. Okay. Mary, Joe, Sam, and Giselle, are you guys ready to play? Yes! Then it's time for Let's Ask America! First question is worth $100. Here are the two possible answers. We've got costumes or candy. The question is, what did parents say their kids love the most about Halloween? What did parents say that their kids love the most about Halloween? All right, everybody's got their answers in. First up, she is a morning radio DJ from Moore, Oklahoma. It's Mary. Yay! Hello, Miss Mary. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing very well. Well, Mary, what do you think? Is it costumes or candy? Well, you know, I love dressing up like anybody else, and most of the time we are dressed up at my house, but I got to say, I'm going for candy. The kids love a pillowcase filled with sugar. Next, yes. he's a standardized patient from Lindenhurst, New York. Is that correct, Joe? Yeah. It's Joe, everybody. Yeah. And Joe, I thought you were going to dress up for us today. Ah, ha, ha. See? See, <laughs> I, I put some makeup on just for you. So, Joe, I, I love the outfit. I love the enthusiasm, Thank but you. I want to love the answer. What'd you pick? Costumes or All candy? Right. I have to say parents would say that their kids obviously love candy. You're correct. All right, Joe, welcome to the program. Next up, he's a college communication professor from Burlington, Kentucky. Please welcome Sam. <laughs> the great and wise Sam from Burlington. <laughs> so tell me, Sam, what do you think? Is it costumes or candy? With the costumes, it's extreme. Either some of them are really into it or some of them, you know, you can't even get up to make up their mind. But all of them, they love candy. All right, so far that's three for candy. We gotta round this out. Finally, she's a college English professor from Kansas City, Missouri. It's Giselle. Giselle, you got some of your teeth, sweetheart. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Giselle, are you a, are you a vampire on this Halloween? I am a vampire, but I'm a very. I'm gonna have to take the teeth out because I can't talk. <laughs> she's a fangless vampire. I'm, I'm this a Sukuyant, which is. Um, a Trinidadian vampire. I love it. I love the specificity. Well, well, what do you what do you think it is? Is it costumes or candy? Uh, I personally love the costumes, but I think the kids really like the candy. Everybody says candy, and with 67% of the vote, the correct answer is candy. Everybody gets $100. 100 bucks sweeter than candy. Next question is worth 200. Here we go. The two possible answers are men on Mars or aliens on Earth. And the question is, what did sci-fi fans say they're more likely to see in their lifetime? <laughs> the great and wise wizard that is Sam will start with you. What answer have you conjured, good sir? I don't think we're really all that far from putting men on Mars. I mean, the, the technology is definitely there. I like it. Mary? I'm going to say nerds always want... Aliens on Earth, so they can get themselves a hot alien girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Giselle, what say you? I think I'm going to go with aliens on Earth. All right, Giselle agrees. Joe, you have the final say. All right, so I'm thinking having some aliens pop up on Earth. It's not up to me. It's up to the, the people we polled. And for $200, 61% of them said... Men on Mars! The wise wizard has come to the correct answers. It's time for the final question of this round. It is worth $300, but more importantly, this will decide who stays and plays and who gets eliminated. So here we go. The two possible answers are 
Edward the Vampire or Jacob the Werewolf? Yeah. The question is, <laughs> Joe's already repulsed, I don't want to know. <laughs> Which Twilight character did teenage girls say they'd most like to meet in the dark? <laughs> All right, Miss Giselle, we'll start with you. Is it Edward or Jacob? You can't, you have to bet on the vampire. Edward the Vampire. He's so sparkly without that shirt on. Edward the Vampire. Joe, you're not a Twilight, what? sir? Edward doesn't twinkle unless he's in the sun. So, nighttime, I'm going Jacob. All right, Joe says Jacob. Sam, what are your thoughts? The one thing I do know is that vampires are way cooler than werewolves. So, I bet with All right, Sam says Edward. Mary, you have the final word. Let me just say that there ain't nothing hotter than Jacob in jean shorts, okay? I mean, if I could have a bunch of werewolves run around my neighborhood all day, I would be a stay-at-home mom, okay? But, <laughs> since it's at nighttime, I can see Jacob whenever. I gotta say, Edward the Vampire is coming all right. at night. It's Jacob the Werewolf. Congrats! Joe now in first place with 400. Sam just behind with 300. And we've got a $100 tie between Mary and Giselle. We have to break that tie in the way we do it here on Let's Ask America. This is the physical challenge we call the Dash for Cash. Need us up here. Yeah. All right, this is for Giselle and Mary, the contestant who finishes last will be eliminated, but two very important things. Do not go anywhere, do not start until I say go. And whatever your challenge is, try to complete as much of it as you can in front of your webcam, okay? We wanna see it. All right, Mary, Giselle, here we go. I want you to get a broom, ride it, and cackle like a witch. Ready, <laughs> set. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Mary, she was like a rodeo witch right there. She was hanging on for eight seconds. Mary, congratulations. Giselle, it was a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry. You uh, have been eliminated. You. Goodbye, Giselle. And she transforms into a ball of flame and flies away. One down. Three are moving on. More chills, more thrills. And Let's Ask America returns. Welcome back to Let's Ask America's Halloween special. I hope that's what this is. We're down to three contestants Skyping from home. They're all trying to win goodie bags full of cash yeah! by predicting what America is thinking. And now it's about to get even scarier. These next questions have three possible answers. This question is worth $400. And the three possible answers are the dark, being home alone, or weird noises. And the question is, what did moviegoers say is more likely to frighten them after watching a horror film? Is it the dark, being home alone, or weird noises? Joe, we're going to start with you in first place, place with $400. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say, you know, it's nothing more terrifying than being home alone. Yep. All right, Mary, your thoughts? I'm terrified of the dark, and weird noises are never very weird if it's not dark to begin with. All right, Mary says it's the dark Sam. In a word. Yeah, you know, the dark is easy to fix. Just turn on the lights. The one that's <laughs> hardest to fix is being home alone. <laughs> For $400, the correct answer with 46% of the vote. They said weird noises. <laughs> weird noises. So nobody gets the cash. We're moving on. We're raising the stakes. This next question is worth $500. And the three possible answers are toilet paper the trees, egg the house, or smash their pumpkins. The question is, what did homeowners say is the worst trick a Halloween prankster can play on them? <laughs> All right, Mary, you have the first say here. What do you think? The thing is, I got to save my pumpkins from the time that we have um, Halloween to Thanksgiving. So I'm going to smash your pumpkins. Sam? Well, it is just really difficult to clean that up, so that's the way I'm going. Unless it happens on Easter, then it's hard-boiled. It's actually <laughs> rather delicious. Joe. Back in my, uh, back in my delinquent days of trick-or-treating, eggs 
Egg in a house took a lot of damage. Really? Are those actual lightning sideburns, or is that just paint? Yes, they are. <laughs> awesome. I, had, uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I've Joe. had it for quite some time now. Joe, that is awesome. All right, for $500, the correct answer with 78% of the vote. Egg the house is correct. Joe running away with it, $900. Sam just fine with $800. Mary, you need this. This is the final question of this round. It is worth $1,500. More importantly, this will decide who continues to play. Good luck. The three possible answers are Pepe Le Pew, the Tasmanian Devil, or Porky Pig. The question is, which cartoon character did single guys say they're more likely to turn into after a long night of drinking? <laughs> Mary, we're going to start with you again. This should be more scary than the dark, Mary. You need this to stay in our game. What'd you say? Okay, I'm going with Tasmanian Devil because nobody needs to be out on the town drinking Jaeger, okay? <laughs> Sam? I think probably... They actually are more like Pepe Le Pew, but they think, or at least want to be, more like the Tasmanian devil. Joe, what say you? If a single the guy is, you know, drinking all night, he's going to go home eventually, with someone or not, and he's probably going to feel like a porky pig. <laughs> $1,500 to decide who stays in our game. The correct answer with 36% of the vote, it's Pepe Le Pew! <laughs> Nobody gets the cash. Not a problem for Joe and Sam, but Mary. It's lights out for you. I'm so sorry. You have been eliminated. Joe and Sam are moving on. Things could get rather scary when Let's Ask America returns. We are back with Let's Ask America right now. Joe and Sam are in a bone-chilling battle to see who gets tricked and who gets the big cash treat. And right now, we're two questions away from finding out who will play in our final round. Our next question is worth $2,000. But now, things are about to get a little hairier. You guys will now have four possible answers to choose from, and they are horoscope, fortune cookie, palm reading, or tarot cards. The question is, what did Americans say is the most accurate at predicting the future? <laughs> All right, Sam, we're going to start with you, sir. Well, uh, I think the one that people have the most experience with is horoscope. So I just went with the simple answer, and I decided to go with the horoscope. Joe, your thoughts? All right. Uh, I'm big into clairvoyancy. I'm big into, you know, seeing future and ghosts and such. So I, I had to go... Same thing, you know, most Americans horoscope, you know, they see the paper all the time, right? Because they get me, they're so specific. For $2,000, with 38% of the vote, the correct answer is horoscope. $2,000 to Joe and Sam, we've got a very, very close game. It all comes down to this, the final question of this round is for $5,000. Good luck. Here we go. The four possible answers are black cats, walking under ladders, broken mirrors, or the number 13. The question is, which of these did Americans say they are most afraid of? All right. Joe, what are you thinking, sir? All right. I'm going black cats. Joe says black cats. I don't know. What are you thinking, Sam? Well, yeah, I, I know that a lot of people are just afraid of cats in general, and so when you add the superstition of a black cat and all the history that goes with that, I agree. I also went with black cats. All right, well, Sam says black cats for $5,000 with 46% of the vote. The correct answer, walking under ladders. Wow. So nobody gets the five grand, and Sam, it was so close. The game has been decided by just $100. I'm sorry, Sam. The great wizard has been eliminated. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have a happy Halloween, Sam. And Joe, congrats, sir. $2,900 is yours without even leaving your house. In a moment, you'll have an opportunity to risk your winnings on a final question for a shot at up to $14,500. Find out what Joe does.
when Let's Ask America continues. Welcome back to Let's Ask America. Right now, Joe, a standardized patient from Lindenhurst, New York, has slashed his rivals and scared up $2,900 in cash. And right now, Joe has a chance to win a whole lot more because it's decision time. Joe, you can risk any portion of your $2,900 on this final question. But if you put it all on the line, if you go all in and you're correct, I'm going to give you five times that amount for $14,500. Joe, if you go all in and you get it wrong, you drop all the way down to $1,000. I have to point that out. That's quite a swing. So yeah, this is this is Halloween, right? So I, I was deciding, do I want to trick or do I want to treat? So I decided to go and not be tricked if I was to risk it all. So I was just gonna settle with a steady 900, cutting clean at the 2,000. Still a nice wager, man. Look, if it doesn't go your way, you still leave with two grand, that's right. But if you get this right, $3,800 will be yours. Playing a game from your house, I love it. Joe, you played an awesome game so far. I wish you the best on this one, all right? Thank you, sir. Here we go, for $3,800, here are the four possible answers. We've got police officer, fireman, pilot, or UPS driver. Joe, the final question is, who did club goers say is more likely to wear their work uniform to a Halloween party? Oh. Who did club goers say is more likely to wear their work uniform to a Halloween party? Joe has 2,900 bucks. He's chosen to wager 900 for a shot at 3,800. And you had an answer right away, Joe. I love it. What were you thinking? Walk me through it. Okay. This is kind of funny. So I was thinking, I was like, police officers, firemen, and pilots would probably get in trouble if, like, something happened in a club and, like, they were drinking too much or did something inappropriate. And I was a UPS helper once. I was a driver's helper, like, two Christmases ago. I was called an elf. I'm kind of short. And the driver was like Santa. And it was absolutely hilarious. And I'm pretty sure that a UPS driver would be more likely to you know, uniform to a Halloween party. First shot at $3,800. Joe, you've put $900 on the line. Who did club goers say is more likely to wear their work uniform to a Halloween party? The correct answer with 38% of the vote. I'm glad you played it safe, Joe. They said police officer. Oh! Hard to take right. off the belt and the badge. You played it safe, you played it smart, oh. and Joe, you have $2,000. We're playing a game from your house. And have a happy Halloween, good sir. $2,000. And hey, I want you to make a killing from your living room. Go to our website and become a contestant right here on Let's Ask America.